The future belongs to those who can hear it coming. David Bowie. In the dusty outskirts of Harare, Zimbabwe, a soft hum whispers from a modest workshop, carrying with it the echoes of a technological revolution. This is no ordinary hum. It's the birth cry of what could be the world's next energy frontier. At the center of this quiet revolution stands Maxwell Chikambuzo, a self-taught engineer and inventor who claims to have achieved what visionaries like Nikola Tesla only dreamt of. Wireless, limitless, and sustainable power from the air around us. His technology, microsonic energy or as it's sometimes referred to, microic energy, taps into the ambient energy that surrounds us in the form of radio frequencies and ultrasonic waves. While largely ignored or dismissed by mainstream science, this innovation is now making waves beyond Africa. In a striking twist of global irony, American research institutions are now exploring, refining, and repackaging this technology, rebranding it as a bold new frontier of alternative energy. But why is the world's most powerful nation revisiting what Africa had already birthed? This is the story of microsonic energy, a tale of visionary African innovation, missed opportunities, and a second chance for the world to listen before the hum becomes a roar. At its core, microsonic energy is about harvesting power from invisible environmental forces, particularly ambient radio waves and high-frequency sound, ultrasonic and hypersonic waves. The technology doesn't rely on sunshine, wind, or fossil fuels. Instead, it turns to acoustic cavitation and piezoelectricity, processes that convert vibrational energy into electrical energy. Acoustic cavitation. This occurs when intense sound waves travel through a liquid medium, creating microscopic bubbles that rapidly collapse. This implosion creates tiny hotspots with extreme pressure and temperature, facilitating energy transfer and even chemical reactions. Piezoelectricity. Certain materials generate an electric charge when subjected to mechanical stress or vibrations, a principle long known in science, but now being applied on a whole new scale. Together, these principles are employed to transform sound and electromagnetic vibrations into usable, clean electricity, offering an alternative to grid-reliant or resource-heavy energy sources. Chikambuzo, the founder of Safe Technologies, claims to have developed devices capable of producing up to 0.5 megawatts of power using microic energy enough to supply around 300 homes. These devices, reportedly, operate independently of any fuel source, tapping into ever-present electromagnetic fields to generate electricity. But his most jaw-dropping claim is the invention of a free energy car, a vehicle that requires no gas, no batteries, and no charging stations. If true, this could shatter the entire foundation of the current electric vehicle EV industry eliminating the need for battery production, charging networks, and fossil fuels altogether. Despite limited mainstream recognition, Chikambuzo's work has quietly gained attention, especially as energy equity becomes an increasingly urgent global issue. United States University of Central Florida America's foray into the field On the other side of the globe, Researchers at the University of Central Florida have been developing a similar concept. Their system leverages piezoelectric materials to convert ambient radio frequencies and microacoustic vibrations into electrical energy, aimed primarily at powering low-energy IoT devices without batteries or solar panels. While their focus is narrower and more academically traditional, the core idea is eerily similar to Chikambuzo's vision suggesting that what was once dubbed fringe science in Africa is now being legitimized in U.S. laboratories. Across the African continent, over 600 million people lack access to reliable electricity. Infrastructure is often limited, expensive to expand, and dependent on weather-sensitive renewables like solar or hydro. Microic energy, if viable, could offer a self-sustaining decentralized solution, a way to bring light, power and opportunity to communities long left in the dark. 
Imagine villages powered not by miles of copper lines or diesel generators, but by compact devices harnessing the airwaves. For rural clinics, schools, and homes, this could mean 24-7 power without the cost, emissions, or instability of conventional grids. Even in developed countries, grid limitations, blackouts, and climate challenges are growing concerns. Microsonic Energy offers the tantalizing promise of off-grid power independence, massive reductions in CO2 emissions, lower infrastructure costs for power delivery. As countries race to meet climate goals and transition away from fossil fuels, this technology could serve as a third lane between centralized grids and weather-reliant renewables. Perhaps the most provocative claim in Chikambutso's arsenal is the microic-powered vehicle, a car that runs perpetually without ever being refueled or recharged. This innovation, if proven, could end dependence on fossil fuels entirely, render electric vehicle charging stations obsolete, revolutionize transportation in both developed and developing nations. While no mass market production has occurred yet, Video demonstrations and prototype sightings have sparked intense curiosity and skepticism. Still Tesla Motors was once ridiculed too, and yet today the world drives electric. Microsonic energy devices produce zero emissions, require no consumable fuel, and involve minimal moving parts. This makes them a prime candidate for contributing to a carbon-neutral future, especially if deployed at scale. For developing nations, especially in Africa, this technology represents more than just electricity. It's about economic liberation. Countries no longer need to rely on imported fuels, unstable global energy markets, or exploitative infrastructure deals. Beyond homes and cars, microsonic energy could empower IoT networks that never need charging, medical devices in remote areas, Disaster relief infrastructure independent of grid failures. While the potential is enormous, the technology is not without controversy or skepticism. Critics point to the need for peer-reviewed validation, scalability issues, and technical limitations. Questions remain. How efficient are these systems in real-world conditions? Can they scale to industrial levels of output? Are the underlying scientific principles fully understood? Chikambutso's work has often been described as too good to be true, which has made funding, media coverage, and scientific acceptance slow. Yet the burgeoning interest from U.S. institutions indicates that where there's smoke, or in this case, a soft hum, there might just be fire. The idea of wireless, ambient energy isn't new. Nikola Tesla, the brilliant and eccentric inventor, believed in the possibility of extracting energy from Earth's natural fields and distributing it wirelessly. His vision was thwarted, in part, by corporate interests and the profit-driven model of utility companies. Today, microsonic energy might just be the 21st century realization of Tesla's dream, one born not in New York, but in Zimbabwe. African inventors often face systemic barriers to credibility. But when a U.S. university begins developing similar technology, it gains instant scientific credibility and funding. While this underscores a troubling dynamic in global innovation recognition, it also gives the tech a chance at wider adoption. As the global energy transition accelerates, the U.S. sees strategic value in owning breakthrough technologies especially ones that could reshape energy, transportation and communication systems. What was once overlooked is now a strategic asset. Much like how African music inspired global pop or how indigenous knowledge shaped modern medicine, microic energy is being rebranded and refined in U.S. labs, potentially preparing it for commercialization at scale. While innovation is global, recognition often is not. If the world truly wants to embrace clean, sustainable, and equitable energy futures, then inventors like Maxwell Chikambutso deserve not just acknowledgement, but partnership and investment. 
America's growing interest in this field is not inherently problematic. In fact, collaboration could accelerate breakthroughs. But that collaboration must be ethical, transparent, and inclusive, ensuring that the origins of innovation are honored, and its benefits shared equitably. Microsonic energy stands at a curious crossroads, part fringe science, part transformative promise. Whether it becomes the next revolution or fades into the vault of what might have been, will depend on many factors – scientific validation, financial investment, political will, and global cooperation. But if there's one thing history has taught us, it's that revolutions often start in the unlikeliest of places. And perhaps, just perhaps, the next great leap forward in energy isn't being born in Silicon Valley or Tokyo. But in a small workshop in Zimbabwe, where a quiet hum is growing louder every day.